This book is Ben's Trumpet. The story and the illustrations are by Rachel Isadora. She's an American writer, illustrator from New York City. She started out in life as a professional ballet dancer. Uh, after she was injured and couldn't continue, she became a painter. She traveled extensively through the continent of Africa, many countries, and then she settled in New York and became uh, a figure in the world of children's literature. The style she uses in this book comes from the 1920s. Uh, it's called Art Deco, and if you look carefully at her line drawings here on this dedication page, you can see the name written in cursive of the person to whom this book is dedicated. In the evening, Ben sits on the fire escape and listens to the music from the Zigzag Jazz Club. He joins in, playing his trumpet. Do, 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 do. Sometimes he plays until very late and falls asleep in the hot night air. Every day, on the way home from school, Ben stops by the Zigzag Jazz Club. He watches the musicians practice. The Pianist The Saxophonist and the drummer. And the drummer. But most of all, Ben thinks the trumpeter is the cat's meow. Ben feels the rhythm of the music all the way home. He plays for his mama grandmother, and baby brother. <laughs> and for his papa and his friends. <laughs> One day, Ben is sitting on the stoop and playing his trumpet. <laughs> I like your horn, someone says. It is the trumpeter from the Zigzag Jazz Club. <laughs> ben smiles and watches him walk to the club. The next day after school, Ben stops and listens to the musicians practicing a red-hot piece. He starts blasting away at his trumpet. Some kids in front of the candy store watch him. Hey, what are you doing? They yell. Ben puts his hands in his pockets and walks slowly home. He sits on the stoop 
and watches the blinking lights of the Zigzag Jazz Club. He sits there a long time, just watching. Just watching and listening to the music that hangs in the air. Down the street, the band comes out for a break. The trumpeter comes over to Ben. Where's your horn? he asks. I don't have one, Ben says. The trumpeter puts his hand on Ben's shoulder. Come on over to the club, he says. And we'll see what we can do. Rachel Lizadoras from New York City. That's probably where this story takes place, but it could have taken place in St. Louis or Chicago or Detroit or New Orleans. Uh, lots of cities around the world actually have similar stories about one musician helping out another. One very famous example of this is that Louis Armstrong, a trumpeter so famous they named the airport after him in New Orleans, met and heard about a young player named Hugh Masekela all the way over in South Africa. And Louis Armstrong gave one of his trumpets to Hugh Masekela. And Hugh Masekela went on to become a great trumpet and flugelhorn player on his own. But he had help from Louis Armstrong. So that's the artistic and musical journey that is Ben's Trumpet by Rachel Isadora. This was a Caldecott Honor Book. <laughs>